Today I'd like to briefly discuss ways that as gardeners we can reduce the population of mosquitoes in and around our homes. We've heard a lot lately about the Zika virus and this particular virus is spread by a species of the Aedes mosquito which is pictured here and this mosquito prefers to feed on people and during the day. Mosquitoes love temperatures at around 80 degrees and they kind of shut down if it's around 50 degrees or lower. Now I'm going to leave some links below the video so that you can learn more about the mosquito. Basically what is important to know, you can take a look here and pause this video if you like. This is some information I got off the CDC website. From the time that the mosquito lays its eggs, it can uh, grow to maturity in about 10 days and that's an average and the mosquito will lay its eggs in a container that holds water but it lays it kind of on the walls or somewhere where it can the eggs can stick and then when that container becomes full uh, with water either by a human pouring water into the container or from rainwater once the eggs have become submerged in the water, then that's when they hatch, okay? So this is why it's critical that any of your containers around your home are uh, kept empty. So as gardeners, we have a little bit more of a responsibility to make sure that we keep containers that hold water at a minimum around our homes. So here are some things I'd like for you to take a look at around your home with the approaching gardening season coming up. Um, I've talked about wading pools before. A lot of us use wading pools for many different things, but as you know, uh, if it is left out, it will collect water. If it's broken or dented and it's turned upside down, it will collect water on the, on the um, backside. So also, if you leave it upright, uh, just the little lip around the wading pool can uh, have enough water in there for a mosquito to lay its eggs. Mosquitoes can hatch in as little as one inch of water. So think about that as far as a bottle cap being full of water. That's just enough for a mosquito to lay her eggs. You may have seen that I like to use a bucket of water that's been warmed by the sun to water my plants. So if you practice this as well, you may want to make sure you keep a lid on that, a screen on top of it, some way to keep mosquitoes from getting in there. So I'd also like for you to look at your watering cans and see how you're storing those. You may want to uh, keep those washed out very good with soap and water um, and somewhere dry. Now, this particular species of mosquito likes to live around homes because as I mentioned, it does feed on people and it will also get inside your home. So keep screens on your windows. So, and then we also use rain barrels a lot as gardeners. So take a look at your rain barrels. If you have any entry points, secure those or block them off some way so mosquitoes cannot get in there. Um, and then wheelbarrows. If you have wheelbarrow in the yard, be careful with that. Make sure you've kept it emptied and clean. Also, there's a lip on that if you tend to turn it over so that it doesn't collect water. Sometimes water can collect um, on the lip around the wheelbarrow, okay? Containers for your herbs and your flowers, the saucers underneath there will collect water. And this is a very good place for mosquitoes. They love this. So keep those emptied. You may want to periodically clean them uh, throughout the summer, okay? Let's look at tires. Do you have tires in your yard? Have you thought about maybe recycling those and making a little planter with tires? Take a look at those. Make sure water doesn't collect in um, any of those, okay? Because that's an excellent breeding ground for mosquitoes. If you, Are you taking cuttings? Are you putting those just in water and leaving them outside to propagate them? You may want to consider doing something else with that container. Take a look at fountains, bird baths, anything that's not working. Um, if it's just still water, you'll want to take a look and do something about that as well. Uh, of course, the main thing that a lot of people probably already know about are your gutters. You've got to get those gutters cleaned. I got to, I've got to clean mine. This is a picture of ours. But uh, they need to be draining properly and just keep those clean. That's all you can do. Mosquitoes love the gutter, so if you um, haven't done that in a while, you know, it's time to get out there and clean those gutters. <laughs> Nobody likes to do that, I know, but... <laughs> I hope that these tips will help you reduce the population of mosquitoes in and around your home this upcoming gardening season. 
And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below the video. I'll also leave some links down there for you if you'd like to educate yourself a little bit more about the Zika virus and this particular species of mosquito. So feel free to tell your friends about this. And thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day.